So a couple people go, hey, you know, we're going to Cheetah's strip club. You want to go? And I have not been to a titty bar in, like, fucking, ah, shit. Why did I say the name of it? Because now I'm going to trash the place. I haven't been to a titty bar in, like, I would say maybe seven years. I, I, they're just they're stupid. You go in there, you get all fucking excited, and then nothing happens, and then you leave, and you don't have any money. It's the dumbest fucking thing you could ever do. And there's always a bunch of fat white dudes in there on some business trip, smoking cigars, trying to act like they're fucking running shit, and they're not. I don't like them, you know? We'll figure what the fuck, I'll go, everybody's going to go, yeah, let's fucking go. We went there. Uh, bored, shitless. Bored, shitless. You know what the most exciting thing was about when I went to that fucking strip club? Was one of the people I was hanging out with, I found out, was actually uh, a banker. All right? And I know you guys think I'm out of my mind. You're always going, oh, you fucking conspiracy theory whack job. I hit this guy with every fucking thing that I think of I know about banks. And he just kept nodding going, you're right. You're right. Absolutely. You're right. I, I fucking told him that whole thing about how, you know, I had the water damage on my house and the check for my insurance company came, made out to me, Nia, and my fucking mortgage company. You know? And I'm like, those motherfuckers don't think I'm going to pay off the house. And they go, no, they don't. I go, that's right. They think that it's going to take me 30 fucking years, and by the time that, I'll be in my 70s, and by then one of my kidneys will fail, at which point my health insurance won't kick in. They'll have, they'll, so I'll have to sell the house. They'll get another 30-year-old in there, and they'll bend him over the fucking rail for 60. And he was going, you're absolutely right. Absolutely fucking right. And I was like, so how do you fucking do it? He goes, hey, he goes, I don't fuck over individuals. He goes, I fuck over businesses. <laughs> See, that's how it works. You know, I wasn't making the, I didn't. I didn't make the call. I was just following orders. It's the same shit <coughs> those Nazi fucking people said when they were up in the guard towers. When they were fighting for fucking Hitler. It's the exact same fucking thing. They justify it in their head that I'm not, you know, even though I'm part of this evil fucking thing, I'm just doing this one little thing here, you know? And I just kept hammering. I'm going, dude, you know... But you're, 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 you're helping to push the rock up the hill. And he goes, and he just started laughing, going, Jesus Christ, you know, I'm trying to fucking enjoy myself here. And then I actually felt bad on some level. I went all the way up to the Federal Reserve, and the guy, the banker looked at me. He said, the only thing federal, he said, the Federal Reserve is as federal as Federal Express. <laughs> he goes, they're evil. And I was just like, well, how the fuck are you in that business? You know, and this one, at that point we were a little bit drunk and he's just like, well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> he said the bankers just sit there and they're like, my job is to make fucking money. That is my job. He proceeded to tell me that the bank he works for somehow in three months made six billion dollars. He's like, how is that fucking possible? Legally, I don't think it is. Or maybe it is. You know, when everybody goes to work all week and then just gives you their money. That's the greatest. That's one of the greatest fucking scams ever. Do you realize we all work all fucking week? They give you a piece of paper with numbers on it. They never give you the money. They just give you a piece of paper that has numbers on it. Then you take that piece of paper and you give it to some of the most crooked fucks ever to keep it safe. It's like, every, it's like every American, everybody on the planet, you get mugged every week. And you don't even realize it. You don't even get mugged because you're turning it over. You fucking hand it to those assholes. The money you earned, the money I earned, then they take that money. They loan it back to us at fucking interest. And then they, then they like invent more money that isn't even there off of the money that we put in there. They basically, they legally counterfeit money. Like if they, if, if they get a deposit at 10 grand, they can legally loan out 10 grand, $10,000 to f like, like four or five different people. 10,000 for you, 10,000 for you, 10 for you, 10 for you. When there's only 10,000, they just, they just invented another 30 grand 
that I, that isn't even there. And that's what the fuck happens. Because then when those fuckers don't pay that off, the ten grand all of a sudden then with it now like twenty grand off of ten grand isn't fucking paid off. I, I, I think you guys are smart enough to do the math. I, I swear to God, I really wish I recorded the conversation when he just kept going. You're right. You're right. And all the fucking people. Anthony Cumia from the wonderful Opie and Anthony program who laughs and shakes his head at me. You know, I was really wishing he was there. And every cunt that ever called me a fucking conspiracy theorist, like I fucking believe that the moon is made out of cheese. Like, that's what I'm telling you. Right. Like that. Like I'm saying the sun is actually a camera in the sky by the fucking Illuminati. I never said any shit like that. All right, I said a couple of crazy ones. My fucking banker ones. Evidently, this guy who was drunk in a titty bar <laughs> told me that I was right. And none of you guys were there. And I don't have the audio to prove it. But I'll go fuck you. You know what I sound right? This is like the verbal version of that chick standing in the street. I should have on that lime green hat just fucking miming, jerking my own dick off. You know? Am I really any better than that frisbee horde cunt? Ah, she's not a cunt. She's not a whore either. I don't, you know what? You know something? I'm going to reserve judgment because I have no fucking idea. You know, when you really think about it, you really, you really can't tell who somebody is. Just from a goddamn video. All right, shut the fuck up, Bill. So